All right, um, if you're wondering what this is, I have two GH3 cameras here. Um, on the right side over here, this one is running an OEM Panasonic battery. And on the left side, it has an aftermarket battery. So um, the reason why I'm doing a time lapse is because I want to see how long the aftermarket battery lasts. So uh, I have a stopwatch in the middle over here and it's just kind of running a timer. Right now it's been time lapsing for about five minutes. So we'll see what the uh, last photo is in either one of these cameras. Um, you know, if this one runs for say four hours and that one runs for two hours and we can kind of gauge how much battery life these aftermarket batteries have. Uh, you know, I put the battery in, it shows the battery meter. Um, it charged on my OEM charger just fine. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how long it actually runs. Again, uh, these are two GH3 cameras, both doing time lapse. One has an OEM Panasonic battery, the other an aftermarket battery. So uh, I'll follow up on this video as soon as it's done. All right, here's a quick update. Uh, we're going on two hours here. There's a picture being taken every three seconds. Um, I can imagine there's probably over 2,500 images already taken uh, in this camera. <clears throat> you can see the battery life hasn't moved. This is the uh, OEM battery on this camera here. And if you look at the meters, battery hasn't moved. It's been over two hours. We go over to the aftermarket one. Uh, same deal here. You know, just as many pictures um, going over two hours, and that battery, that battery meter hasn't even changed. So I'm not sure how long this time lapse test is going to take, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the uh, aftermarket battery already. It's going on for two hours. As you can see, the LCD is always being displayed. The camera is taking pictures and processing every three seconds. Um, so it's it's been good so far. Uh, I, maybe I'll let it run for another hour, two hours or so, but uh, I don't know. Aftermarket battery seems good to me. We'll check up on it later. All right, so the final result for the aftermarket batteries was about three hours and 36 minutes. The OEM battery was about five hours and 43 minutes. Now, uh, these batteries work pretty well. They display the meters in the GH3 camera. They charge using the normal GH3 charger. So the green light is on and when it's fully charged, it just turns off. Um, obviously, they don't last as long as the OEM ones, but three and a half hours of continuous shooting is not too bad. Um, again, I was testing it with the LCD on, doing a time lapse, taking a picture every three seconds. Um, so that was like over 4,500 images or something like that. And um, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's, that's continuous shooting. So you can imagine using one of these aftermarket batteries with just casual photography. It's probably going to last you all day still. Now, um, again, I needed some extra runtime, so I bought a bunch of these aftermarket ones. They're very cheap. Uh, obviously, they don't last as long as the OEM, but you can get seven seven of these aftermarket batteries for the price of one of these these things will run somewhere about 10 bucks each this guy right here about 80 dollars so you know for the price of one of these you can get seven and get about 25 hours of runtime as opposed to under six hours here so you know whether it's worth it for you guys or not i'll leave that up to you but i'm pretty happy with my purchase um these things have you know so far been working pretty well i did another shoot today um with my son's basketball team and had no problems with the batteries, uh, you know, so far so good. Um, definitely check them out if you guys are interested in getting some extra stuff, extra batteries. Uh, these things now down to about 10 bucks. So uh, more stuff on the blog, check it out, cheesycam.com.